Welcome back Chargers. Hope you're as excited to be back at school as we are. I'm Olivia DeBetty. And I'm Skylar Covert. Today on DP News, male ballet info, volunteer opportunities, and more. DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. now. mandatory male ballet meeting today in the EPAC classroom at lunch. If you signed up to be a part of the male ballet and cannot make the lunch meeting, you must email Shanna Salentine as soon as possible to be updated about rehearsals and other important info. The Santa Barbara Zoo's Education Department will be partnering with TVSB to participate in specific media projects and is still looking for teen volunteers to help out. Some of the projects include creating promotional videos, video editing, and taping lectures. TVSB professionals will be able to train volunteers with professional equipment. Please come by the Career Center for additional information. If you ordered Christmas trees, you can pick them up at the tennis courts this Saturday. Buy your friends and family the holiday gifts they've been dreaming of. DP Apparel will be sold this Saturday, December 5th, also at the tennis courts. Get your spirit on, Chargers. Are you interested in doing an internship with any career of your choice? There's an opportunity through Partners in Ed. Please stop by the Career Center with any information or to pick up an application. Deadline to apply is December 3rd. That is all your campus news for today, DP. Olivia and Skyler, signing out. Now over to Nico and Ashley with the sports. <laughs> <laughs> DP, I'm Ashley. And I'm Nico, here with the Sports Report. Cross Country competed at the Mount Sac for CIF Southern Section Finals. Hunter Clark scored, finished in 69th place. Christina, pa Christina Rice placed 18th with a time of 18 minutes and 42 seconds. At the CIF State Cross Country Championships, Hunter Clark also placed 14th and with a time of 15 minutes and 33 seconds. Marching Band and Color Guard finished in the top 10 in 1A Division of SCSBOA Championships, with Percussion Section finishing in first place. Girls Basketball beat the Rio Mesa Spartans 50-47 to for their season opener. Amber Belletti finished with the 9 points and, 19 re and 17 rebounds. Juniors Holly Barrera and Camila Casanova carried the scoring load with 18 and 15 points. Boys Soccer played the two-time league defending Los Padres champion champs Pioneer Valley. The boys won last, league last year in Channel League were able to pull off a 1-1 to -one tie. They play San Ynez here at 315. Girls Soccer played San Ynez over the break and beat them 7-1. They, they play Moore Park this Wednesday away. And great job to Kiara Pickett who was elected for the U.S. Under-20 women's team for the CONCACAF U-20 Championships in Honduras. Boys, so boys Basketball plays San Luis Obispo here at 315. That's all for your sports report. Now we're to Nandini with current events. Hey DP, I'm Nandini Braganza, your current events reporter. The mayor of Chicago announced on Sunday that the city would soon increase the number of police officers wearing video cameras. Cities across the nation have been debating the benefits of requiring small body-worn cameras on police officers, particularly over the past year as protests have increased over the treatment of black people by the police and as confrontations captured on videotape have stirred outrage. Now over to Sky with the weather. Hey DP, I'm Sky with your weather report. Today's temperatures will be 65 degrees and tomorrow's temperatures will be 69 degrees. The surf tomorrow will be 2 to 5 feet, with 5 feet being the highest point at 6 p.m. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. That's all I have for you today, DP. Have a great day.